guys what's up welcome back to another video today I'm gonna be telling you guys another story and before we get into this video I do want to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications and leave me a comment down below let me know what type of videos are your favorites so that I can make more of them but yeah let's get started with this video okay guys so basically I'm gonna tell you guys the story about the time as you can see from the title that my grandma caught me sneaking well she caught me with my boyfriend already inside my house basically but this was a long time ago obviously when I used to live at my mom's house I haven't lived there since for like five to six years but yes like I was very very rebelde I was a very bad teenager and I did everything crazy that you guys can think of and so around this time I obviously you know was dating Sergio which by the way yes it was Sergio the one that was caught which is the father of my son and the baby on the way and my fiance but so basically on this day I'm gonna tell you guys what happened so basically we had a, a routine so we would literally hang out it would be Friday Saturday and Sunday we would hang out at my house like we would just uh, we wouldn't really go to his house because he had a roommate at the time Omar and he's actually um my one of my good friends fiance too so yeah they used to live together so it was kind of like you know we couldn't really go to his room obviously because we had to kick omar out and whatever you know so we would just rather kick it at my house but nobody knew right so it was like a ran a regular friday i think it was like a friday saturday i don't know and we used to buy like a 24 pack and in between the both of us we used to drink it together you guys like literally all of it the 24 I don't I still don't believe myself like dang I used to drink so much you know but it was just that's how it was it was a regular typical day and so basically obviously if you guys know yeah so when you drink beer obviously you have to pee a cada rato like you have to just go I don't know what it is about beer but you just have to pee all the time so what we would do usually is I would let him go to the restroom. Um, he wouldn't get to my house. We had like a little routine. So basically he would get to my house and it was crazy because he had the loudest, loudest um, car. And I would still just like not think that my family would hear it. Because in between the, the other days, like Friday to Monday to like Thursday, if he, we would want to hang out. We would, he would literally pick me up with his car, with his noisy ass car. So my mom knew already his car, like the noise that it would make. You could literally hear it like a mile away. Like it was just that loud. So yeah, so basically what he would do is just get there like in the night. And then he, I had a hole. My mom, she found out that I was sneaking out one time. And she made my grandpa glue the window. So me being a bad kid, I freaking, I cut the the i don't know how you say it in english the spring the spring the spring i don't know how to say it in paisa spring so my mom cut the spring um no i cut it and so there was like a permanent hole there um you couldn't really tell because i mean i'm pretty sure maybe you could but nobody ever said anything like my grandparents or anything like they never i don't they ever i don't think they ever found out until I, after I moved out but basically I had a hole like a permanent hole and then I would just have to open the window very slowly and then open up my blinds and then he would be able to come in so that's what we used to do and everything would work out fine and he would show up later in the night like around 12 just so that we could make sure that everyone was asleep and yes I know 12 is kind of early for some people but yes my family would go to bed by like 10 because that's just like everybody had to go to work the next day or school and everybody was just really responsible so everybody just had that bedtime like 10 or 11 and you know by 12 everyone was asleep already so sometimes sometimes in the weekends it would be like they would barely be going to sleep at 12 you know because it was a weekend but for the most part it was always almost the same thing it was like by 10 or 11 they were already asleep so I would tell him just come at 12 just so that you know we can get started drinking like at 12 and then um, you know in case you have to go pee or something 
you could go and there's no problem like there's nobody gonna, nobody's gonna be up at that time and you could just go so basically my room was the one in the corner like in the, the last room and it was facing that street so this was my room and then it was facing the street so next to it is a restroom was a restroom well is a restroom it's not my room no more but yeah next to it is a restroom it's my brother's room now and so basically he would always use that restroom but this day i remember he got there a little bit earlier like he got there like around 10 30 but everyone was still like it was it was a friday but everybody was asleep anyways so i was like okay it's fine but he had to pee worst timing ever so he had to pee and he's like hey you know like can i use the restroom and i was like fuck like we're gonna risk it but fine like just go so like, because he really couldn't hold it. Sometimes, like, if it was that early, he would even, like, jump out the window and then jump in again. So he would go outside to pee just because I was like, you know what, like, he wouldn't be able to hold it and we would still be able to hear noises. So he would literally, like, jump out and jump back in. But this day, I was like, no, 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 because I had already closed the window and it was going to make too many, too much noise. Like, I literally had to open the window, like, little by little, like little but it would literally take me like like a whole two minutes to open the window because i didn't want to make any noise and so so i was like no like i had already closed the window and it was really cold and i was like no just wait like i'm pretty sure everybody will be asleep already so you know it was already like yeah i mean i was so confident that everybody was asleep so i was like let me just go check the kitchen really quick like let me go pretend that i'm gonna go get like some water you know to see if the coast is clear and then you go so then he's like all right so and i go check if there's water meanwhile he's in my room like in the closet just in case anyone like were to like go in and check like just really quick you know at a glance to see who's in there you know like he wasn't just gonna be sitting there especially because my room oh yeah no never mind it did have a lock because for a long time it didn't have a lock so it was like harder but but yeah like my I ended I ended up I ended up getting a lock so it had a lock but by, by that time but still like you know how am I gonna lock my door and then go to the kitchen and how am I gonna go back in you know so I would leave it unlocked and then I would tell him like go in the closet and then meanwhile you know I'll come back so that's what he did and, you know, I checked and everything was cool. Everything was like the coast was clear. Tell me why. I'm like, okay, yeah, you can go use the restroom. So he start. he goes in the restroom. Well, he went in the restroom and everything was cool. And we were about to go back out. Like, we were about to go back out and then go back, go into, um, like, my room again, you know. And my grandma is like, se está somando. Por el, cause the, her, her, this is like my room and then the restroom and then her, her room was across the restroom. You get me? So she was literally like waiting for the restroom. So she was waiting for me to be out. So tell me why I mess up me. I opened the door and I freaking closed it again. Cause I was like, oh my God, she's right there. And you know like okay well how am i gonna walk out with sergio like oh yeah hey like he's here using the restroom no like i was not allowed to have have boys in the, in the room ever and let alone someone sleep over you know and so i was like oh my god what are we gonna do she's right there and then i'm like okay we'll just wait a little bit like let's wait like five minutes and then if she doesn't leave like we'll just wait for her to leave because i was like she's gonna leave like she's gonna go back to sleep or something or because we did have another restroom i'm like she's eventually gonna use the other one no tell me why i opened the door again and she was right there like staring at me like literally like not saying nothing to me but she was waiting on me to like i don't think she realized like what it, that it was anything bad but i knew it was bad so she was just like staring at me like okay what time are you gonna be out you know and um so I was like, fuck, like, what are we going to do? You know, like, my grandma's right there and she doesn't want to leave. So I, you know, I told Sergio, I'm like, you know what? I don't know what we're going to do. We were there for like a whole 30 minutes thinking about what we're going to do. So we, my my grandma had like, well, we had a, a, a small window, a very small window. It was like literally so small. I don't know, even know how we made it happen, but Sergio's like, okay, this is like my only way of getting out of here, so I'm going to have to do it. 
So tell me why he freaking jumps out of that window. He, yes, he does. Like, he just freaking jumps out, and then he calls me, and, like, I just get out. Like, we open the window. We take forever to open the window because that window makes so much noise because it doesn't really open like that. Like, you know, we open it, but it's, like, I don't know. It just makes super, it's, like, so much noise. So I was, like, okay, we were opening it. It took us like five minutes to open it and then so we still had to take out everything like the spring we had to like remove it and then he still had to jump out you know so he had to get on top of like this tocador that we have in the restroom and then like jump out and it was a pretty tall window like and like in the bottom of the of the window there was like flowers and espinas you know things that he could hurt himself with but i was like fuck it you have to do this so you know we did that he put back the spleen from the outside in and i closed the window and then i just got out like nothing was happening and um shortly after you know i was like okay hold on like stay out there for a little bit and we're gonna see hopefully she doesn't like suspect anything or she didn't hear anything and then you know, he can come back in. So, that's exactly what we did, you guys. I know we, no teníamos vergüenza because we still ended up, like, he still ended up jumping back into my window. And, yeah, you guys, that happened. And I know it's crazy. That was, I remember, like, we still remember and we think about it. And we're like, oh, my God, remember how it was? Like, remember how scary? I was so scared. I was, like, for sure, like... I'm gonna get caught, it's gonna be drama right now, like, I for sure thought, like, she was gonna catch us and tell my mom or something, and I was so scared, especially because around that time, like, my, he hadn't met my parents, so I was kind of like, he hadn't met my family at all, so I was like, damn, like, this is the way they're gonna meet him, like, in my head, I was like, oh my god, this is the worst thing ever, and it was so scary, like, I just felt like, oh my god, you know, but... Yeah, that happened to me, and I don't recommend it to anyone. I mean, shit like this always happens, but oh my god, I'm just so glad that she, I, we didn't get caught, you know? And yeah, shortly after, you know, I called him, and I was like, okay, everything's good. He jumped back in. Oh yeah, like I said, he jumped back in, and yeah, it was like, just like nothing happened. Like, he just, we continued using the restroom because he had to go every once in a while, but I would go with him because of that same reason, like... I would be like, no, I have to go with you just in case, like, I have to, that happens or something. I would always go with him to the restroom. And then, like, we would walk out together. Like, that's how that happened a long time ago. And nobody knows. But now they do, I guess. And, yeah, you guys. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications for future videos. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Yeah, 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 yeah